Hi guys, in this video, we are going to see how we can insert a data inside the cloud Firestore database of Firebase. Or basically, we, we will say how we can add a document inside a collection in our Firebase. So let's get started. So first of all, just come inside the Cloud Firestore database and just click on create database to create the database. So currently I will use start in test mode and then I will hit next. After this, I will choose the location of our database. And uh, so I will choose Asia South one and then I will hit on enable. So just wait for a second to let it be completed and then we will move forward and next we will see how the Firebase database works and how it stores the document or how it stores the data inside of Cloud Firestore. So now we are ready. So basically Firebase stores data in a form of document and collections. For example, if you want to store a file inside your computer, then you specify a folder inside that folder. Suppose the folder name is uh, B developers and inside that you added the videos of B developers. So videos are associated with the B developers folder. So the same works inside the cloud base fire cloud firestore database. Inside this, we will create a collection inside that collection. We will add the document or we will store the data we want to suppose if you want to store the data of a student then you need to create a collection called student and inside that collection we will store the data of the students associated with the school so in this way we will store the data inside the firebase so inside that so basically we store a data inside a collection and the data inside a collection is in the form of map that is key value pair we will provide the key and the specific value for that key and when we want to access that the document then it will return the map or json type of the data of the data that was available in the cloud firestore let's see with an example so let's understand with an example suppose i created a student collection and inside that collection i added a student data with name and then provided the value to that key that is field to that field that is the name field and then I provided the roll number and the roll number should be the type of number and then I provided the class okay so now when I click on save it will add the document inside a collection called student so basically I need to refresh it. So let's refresh and see whether our content is added inside the collection or not. So now you can see our student data, our student class or uh, our student collection is here. And inside that collection, the document of the student that is the data of the student is added in form of map key value pair that is map. So when I want to retrieve this document, then it will return me the map instance of the data like it will return the map in which we need to use the key to access the specific value so in this way cloud firestore works so when you have a question that if i want to create another collection inside a document that is previously created how you can do this so it will work like a same when you want to create a folder like song inside that you created a album called arijit singh and inside that you created a another folder. Uh, you created another collection Arijit Singh and inside that you want to add the song of Arijit Singh. So it will work like a same. So what you have to do is to access a uh, document and the name should be here Arijit Singh and then under a collection type uh, write the songs and after that add the document like this. And again, if you want to add the document another song, then you can also add this like this. So in this way, Firebase collection works or Firebase storage works or Firebase database cloud, Fire, cloud Firestore database works. So in simple way, I can say 
सो क्लाउड फायर स्टोर वर्क इन अ फॉर्म ऑफ कलेक्शन एंड डॉक्यूमेंट एवरी डॉक्यूमेंट इन साइड अ क्लाउड फायर स्टोर इज एसोसिएटेड विद द कलेक्शन विच विल हेल्प टू डिस्टिंग यूज एवरी डॉक्यूमेंट इन साइड अ क्लाउड बेस्ड फायर स्टोर सो इन दिस वे क्लाउड फायर स्टोर वर्क सो लेट्स सी हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट अ कलेक्शन हाउ वी कैन एड अ डॉक्यूमेंट इन साइड कलेक्शन इन दिस वीडियो we will see all these things so let's get started so in the right side of your window you can see i have created a screen in which i will ask the value of a name i will ask the user for his name email country code and phone number and when i click on continue button it will add, create a document if it is not created if the document uh, it when i click on continue it will create a collection if the collection is not created it will create the collection and if it already coll collection is created then it will just come inside the default that is the previously created collection and then inside that it will add the document which contains the data name email country code and phone number so let's see how we can do this so you can see i have created some text field so, sorry text editing controller in which first one is name and second one is email country code and th and fourth one is phone and i am checking whether they are empty or the user provided the data if all the data are provided and are valid like the email pattern matches the pattern or email matches the pattern that it contains the at rate at the rate email.com or any other domain then it will happen and then it will we will add the document inside a collection show model bottom sheet so why i am using this model bottom sheet is very simple because our insertion of data inside a collection will take a certain time so we need to show the uh, progress to the user so that the user can understand that our data is being updating inside the firebase or cloud fire store so we will use this model bottom sheet to show the progress so inside builder first it will provide the context and then i will return the future builder okay now this future builder should return the context and the snapshot of the progress so now i will check if so first of all i will simply return progress progress widget that i have already created and inside this it will ask me for the title so i will use uploading data and then inside this description i will provide we are connecting and then if a snapshot that is this is snapshot that is the progress has a data that it successfully uploaded the document inside a collection or created a collection and document then i will simply show so now when it has data will simply show the success widget that we have successfully uploaded the data so this should be so now we are ready with our future builder so now inside this future builder we should provide the future of this future builder so our future should be a function that will so i will so inside to give the future so i for so i will create a so i will create a function for upload user data and then inside this i will ask for the map so why i am asking for the map because i have already told you that the document inside the collection is in the form of map so the uploading should be in the form of map so that's why i am asking for the map from the user so now i will simply add a sync because it is a future function and now inside this i will first call firebase firestore dot instance dot collection and then i will add the collection which i then i will 
give the reference of the collection where I want to add the document. So I will use the users collection and you can see it is not created. So I will use, so if it is not created, it will automatically create for us. So when it is created, it will not going to create. So inside this user collection, I pass the reference of this user collection and then I will use set or add function. So inside this add function, it will require for the map. So I am getting this map from the user map instance. So I will call this user map and then I will put it inside it. And I will also make sure that I have added the semicolon. So now it is a future function because adding the data inside the collection would, would take a time. So I will use a wait as well. So it will wait for until it get completed. And after that, it will return the reference of the document that was currently uploaded. So I will hold this inside the document reference instance and the instance should be a type of map and always a string and dynamic. Okay. And I will call it ref. And after this, I will come below that and then I will use this reference to return reference dot so I will simply, I will use this reference. I will simply return ref. Okay. And it should be a future dot value. And inside this, I will put the ref. And since we are returning the document reference, so I need to add the document reference with a future to the, uh, to the signature of this method. And I will put this inside that and after that I need also to add it inside a future builder like this. So now I can, I am ready to call this function. So inside this future, I will simply call firebase authentication dot instance. Okay. Firebase auth exception I have called. So my class name would be like authentication. So I will use the authentication class and then I will call the instance. And after that, there is a code for uploading the user data and it will ask me for the map. So I will provide the map. The first name, the first key should be the name. And after that, I will use the name text editing controller to get the name and then I will use the email text editing controller to call the email dot text dot string and then I will add the country con country code and inside this I will use the country code text editing controller to get the text and again, I will use phone number. So I will add the phone number and then I will use phone dot phone dot text dot to string. So in this way, I have added this future and we are getting error because the document reference isn't a type of argument. Try existing argument document reference. So why I am getting this error? Because is I am returning the document reference. Okay, it is right here. And let's save it first. And document reference should be a right thing. future builder and then I need to import. So now we are right here. So, so this will be the, so this will be the code to add a document inside a collection. If it is not existed, then it will create a collection. And if it already exists, then it will add a new document. 
so let's check whether it is working or not so i will provide the name first so now let's check whether it is working or not so you can see there is no collection available so first of all i will type the name and then i will provide the email and after that i will provide the country code and then a random phone number so when i click on continue so you can see upload completed so when i click on continue it will close the pop up and uh, let's check whether our data is added or not so now you can see our data is added our uh, only one uh, our data is added and uh, here is the data that we have provided here and it is now uploaded inside the firebase collection called user so in this way you can create a document inside a collection or insert a data inside a cloud firestore database so that's it for the video and in the next video we will see how we can retrieve this document and uh, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up because it will recommend my videos to others or please make us reach 500 subscribers so thanks for watching